everyone, welcome back to Watching Mike. Today I'll be unboxing a recent purchase from AliExpress, the Courgette 50 Fathoms Homage. As you can see from a typical AliExpress packaging, looks like a lot of polystyrene and a lot of tape. Not much to look at here. Bubble wrap, and here we have the watch. It comes in the same proportions as the original 50 Fathoms at 45 millimeters in diameter and a case thickness of 15 millimeters with a lug length of 23 millimeters. All in all it's quite a hefty watch and the proportions look quite good. Honestly, I wasn't too sure what I'd be receiving for this package, which was around 70 to 80 US dollars. And even just after a few wears, you can see the straps, strap holes have started uh, fraying a bit. So it's something I might look at replacing immediately. And we're not too sure if it's genuine leather on the back. But one downer was that according to the photos, the bezel was supposed to have loom. But you can see here that only the dial face has loom on it. And even then, it's quite uneven between the dial and the hands. And as for the movement, you can actually choose between a Myota, which is slightly more expensive, or the NH35 from Seiko, I believe, or the standard uh, cheaper Seagull movement. Just opening up the case back, you can see here should be the Myota movement. And what's surprising is the movement holder is actually made of metal. Another thing is the uh, crown stem, which is quite hard to screw in and out. The dial itself looks quite nice, with a step-down concentric circle around the edge. And I'm not sure these are applied, but they do stick out. The R markers do stick out a bit. And though it says it was a sapphire crystal, um, I'm not too sure on that either. Same goes with the uh, bezel. If anyone knows, uh, please leave me a comment down below. But all in all, um, pretty nice watch for the money. Um, if you want to try out the 50 Fathoms look without spending 20,000 Australian dollars. And here it is on my 6.5 inch wrists. 
I mean, it's definitely large and case proportion wise, very high on the wrist. But given the short lugs, it sort of fits okay, I think. And here's the bezel action. It's quite smooth, I think. Um, there's a little play when you try to rotate it backwards, but otherwise, feels all right. And as I said before, just had a downside that these markers aren't loomed, unfortunately, for my one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, if you enjoy these videos, uh, please like and subscribe for future content.